praise the Lord, your brothers and sisters. Um, today being Mother's Day is a very special day for us moms. Uh, these are days what they call shelter in place. Very special word. But uh, these days remind me of what we just heard earlier when my husband was speaking about God being a mother, the tender mercies of God. And I thought of this verse, a hymn which comes to my mind. Under his wings, I am safely abiding. Those, those words come often to my mind that I can find shelter under the Lord's wings. And I was also reminded of Jesus when he went to, when he was approaching Jerusalem, you see that mother tender mercy and that tenderness coming out of Jesus' words. When he was approaching Jerusalem and he, he and his disciples approached Jerusalem and he was saying, uh, he wept over Jerusalem and he said, oh Jerusalem, Jerusalem, how often I would have wanted, wanted to gather you as a mother hen would gather her chicks under her wings but you would not have it. So I was thinking how of the tenderness God has towards us, his tender love towards us in these days when we face some pressures and we moms and sisters are so fragile and we think of how can we make it sometimes. Our children are always around us. But I think of God's, of Jesus' words, like a, he gives, he wants to shelter us under his wings and we can find that shelter and be thankful that we are safe under his shelter. I praise and thank God for the tender mercies of God. I thank God for his mercy and love more than a mother and he becomes more and more real to us in these days and we can experience that mercy of God and that loving kindness of God these days. And that example to us also, that we can have that tenderness and merciful nature towards our children, children, kindness towards them, gentleness. And these are days when we can spend time with the Lord and say, Lord, teach me what it is to be tender hearted, to be merciful, to be kind. These are days when I can cast myself on you. I can hide under your wings. I can learn from you, I can get comfort from you. So those words used to come, have been coming to my mind these days. And uh, very often I think of my mom, especially on Mother's Day, I think of my, mo my mother. And all of us have chance to think of our moms too. My mom passed away and was with the Lord. But looking back, I know it may it must not have, it must have been very difficult for her being a mother of nine children and i'm the eldest and i took many things for granted but as the years went by god opened my eyes it was when i surrendered my life to the lord when i was 14 years old suddenly my eyes were opened to see the extent of suffering a sacrifice my mom had to make to bring us up in those days in a cold climate and limited resources, how she brought us all up. I thank God for that he opened my eyes to see that. You know, before that, I used to come home from school, uh, go into a corner and pick up a storybook and read and read till I was tired of reading. And then I'd get up and my life was centered around myself. And then when I surrendered my life to the Lord, suddenly I realized oh, how selfish I've been. I've been so, such a selfish daughter and had no thought for what my mother was going through. I was just brooding over my own things, things I was facing in school and things which were happening. My whole world was just around me. And then the Lord, I thank God, he opened my eyes to see what my mom was going through. I praise and thank God it was not too late. Dear daughters who have your moms with you, this is a time to think of your mom. 
don't just say and send a Mother's Day card to her or a greeter or say thank you, but have that attitude of thankfulness to your mom all through your life, beginning in little things, big things. Just open your eyes to see what sacrifices she's making late into the night or early in the morning just to make life comfortable for her children. And in my case, I went off to college and I was studying to become a doctor. And my mom, uh, my youngest brother was just two years old, hadn't got, started going to school. And they diagnosed that my mother had cancer. So my dad brought her to the hospital where I was studying and he, she got treated. She had to have an under, she had to undergo a surgery lasting about seven or eight hours. And uh, it took a long time for her to recover. But thank God he gave me some training so I could look after her and take care of her needs. And my dad could go back and be with the younger ones. And during the time the Lord was speaking to me. And uh, I, I thought, if my da mom dies, you know how cancer is. Nobody can predict how it will go. If my mom were to die, she survived the surgery, but if she were to die, then I'll finish my studies and I'll go back and stay at home and take care of the younger ones so that they could uh, come up in life and I'd be a mother to them. And I surrendered my life to them, to the Lord. And that was a, not an easy surrender, but I said, Lord, take me. I am your child and do, I'll be a mom to my younger ones. But you know, the Lord didn't, uh, and I said, Lord, I even want to give up marriage. But the Lord didn't have to uh, do that. My mom lived for another 40 years. She lived to see us all married and uh, see all her grandchildren. So I praise and thank God. But that you know, was a surrender which I made to the Lord. And I thank God for the opportunities he gave me to take care of my mother. And so dear young uh, daughters, you have chance now to take care of your mother and help her and do things for her. When you see her do something, be mindful, especially girls, you know how moms get tired because you yourself get tired and you have aches and pains as uh, young as you are. You know that your mom will have aches and pains too. So take time to help her out. Um, now, coming to Mother's, I want to say a few words. This is Mother's Day. Um, uh, God has put in us a very sensitive nature. A sensitive uh, nature which uh, we are aware of our children need, children's needs right from the time they are infants. From the time they are born, our heart is so close to them. Some invisible string is there connecting their hearts to us and they can sense when they are in pain and when they are uh, hungry or whatever needs they're going to. And as they grow up, we see them and they're in, uh, struggling with different things and we can sense, yeah, this son, this child of mine is struggling in this area. Maybe he's not able to express himself. Maybe he's not eating correctly or so many things. But he's not speaking, but he's not able to express what I can sense that need. And God has given us moms that um, ability to sense our children's need. And we can, we can help them um, to go through and face those challenges. And most of all, we can learn to uh, commit them to, to the Lord in prayer. I learned to pray um, after my children came into the world and as they were uh, growing up. That's when I started learning to pray because I tell the Lord about everything that was in my heart, which I wanted to do to my children or for my children. And I couldn't do all my hidden uh, wishes and plans. Everything I learned to tell the Lord. And the Lord used to minister to me. I remember a couple of instances I want to mention where the Lord gave me a burden to pray for my children. One was when many years back when one of my sons was in college and he face, was facing some very difficult time 
and I could not, uh, we did not know what was going, what he was going through, but in my heart, I felt there was something happening to him. And I saw a dream uh, that he was in some danger. And I started praying and that was, and we, we didn't know even anything was going wrong, but that burden which I had after the dream, I kept praying and praying. And after many months, I realized that was the very time my son was going through that difficult patch and the Lord wonderfully brought him out of that. So I praise and thank God for the power there is in prayer. It's not that God needs our help to do things, but he has given us the privilege to take, uh, take a small part in doing his work by praying for our children and for other children whom he lays on our heart. Then more recently, another thing, another thing happened to one of uh, my children, our children, and we were in a meeting uh, very far away from Bangalore. It was a conference, and uh, during the time of prayer, morning prayer, uh, it was the extended time of prayer. Everybody was praising and worshiping the Lord and committing our lives to the Lord. Uh, I felt in my heart uh, some email or some telephone call or something has come and that one of my sons and his family have met with an accident, but they're all safe. I thought, okay, maybe I read that email. I didn't pay attention, but an email came and that was, it came to my mind, but actually no email had come. It was just a thought which came into my mind. So I started praying and then before I realized, I started praising the Lord. I said, Lord, I praise you that my children are safe. You've taken care of my children. you wonderfully taken care of my children. And I prayed it a little bit aloud so the person next to me could have heard that, Lord, my children are safe. I thank you. Because from my depth of my heart, it was a heart of, a prayer of thankfulness to the Lord. So I finished the prayer and the whole meeting was over many hours later. Then uh, my husband received a phone call and he looked very grim and he called me aside and he, he was looking very grim almost as if he had to break some sad news to me. And then he said, you know, uh, there was an accident. And, and so I said, yeah, I know there was an accident, but they're all safe. It was almost as if the Lord had put a healing balm over my mind and my spirit earlier, even before the accident happened maybe but he helped me to take it that I was not at all upset or worried or anything it was almost I knew about it and God had taken care of and they are all okay so I praise and thank God and that was such an amazing uh, experience for me because um, it was so real and we hadn't yet heard about the accident but the Lord had ministered to me that was like a supernatural, supernatural touch from God. So I praise and thank God that we moms can have the privilege of praying for our children and upholding them to the Lord and committing them every day of their lives, our lives. That is the duty we have. Even after they've grown up, we can pray for them. In closing, I want to just leave a verse with you, which often comes to my mind uh, for us all, dear sisters. It's in 1 Corinthians chapter 15 and verse 58. Uh, verse 57 says, Thanks be to God who gives us victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. And this is what Therefore, my beloved brother, my beloved moms, my beloved sisters, be steadfast, immovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, knowing that your toil is not in vain in the Lord. Knowing that your toil is not in vain in the Lord. All that we do for our children and all that we are and we can do is not going to be in vain. So therefore, be steadfast, be steadfast, be immovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. 1 Corinthians 15, 58. God bless you.